Hi everyone, I'm Daniela and welcome back to Black Cat Kitchen. Today I'm making the perfect pasta salad. Antipasto pasta salad. This recipe is perfect for a summer barbecue. So let's jump into the recipe. You'll find a list of ingredients and measurements in the description below. Season a large pot of boiling water with salt. Then add in 500 grams of your pasta. I'm using farfalle. Cook as per the package directions. Mine is 10 to 12 minutes. Zest one large lemon and cut in half ready for juicing. Break off a few pieces of Parmesan cheese, 50 grams worth, about half a cup. The blender is going to do all the grating for us. You can use any hard Italian cheese. I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano, but you can use Grano Padano, Asiago, or Pecorino Romano. To our high powered blender, add 20 grams, one cup of fresh basil. In goes 30 grams, one quarter cup of whole pistachios shelled, our Parmesan cheese, two cloves of garlic minced, two ice cubes to prevent the basil from browning, 120 milliliters, half a cup of a good quality olive oil, the zest of our lemon, 30 milliliters, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and the juice of our large lemon, about 30 milliliters or two tablespoons. Be sure to catch any pips. If you're sensitive to vinegar, just double the lemon juice and leave the vinegar out completely. Once it's blended, this is the consistency we're looking for. If it's thick, add a little bit of water to thin it out. Give it a taste and season as necessary. I'm adding in a bit of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. Set your dressing aside while we prepare our pasta salad. At this point, our pasta should be cooked, so let's drain it and give it a really light rinse with cold water. I normally wouldn't recommend rinsing pasta, but in this instance, we don't want it to be too sticky and clumped together. Chop 300 grams of a soft mozzarella cheese into bite-sized pizzas. I'm using mini mozzarella di bufala. But any nice soft Italian cheese will work. So you can use a mozzarella or a scamorza, a provolone, or even cacio cavallo. Roll your 180 grams of salami into a log, then slice into long ribbons. Fluff it with your fingers to break apart all of the strands. Chop 200 grams of sun-dried tomatoes into bite-sized or smaller pieces. Crush 80 grams of nocciolata or Italian olives with the back of your knife. Make sure the sharp side of the blade is away from you. This is the easiest way to pit an olive. Once they're all pitted, give them a fine chop so that they scatter throughout the salad. Finally, chop 200 grams of marinated artichoke hearts. I like to keep the bottoms mostly intact and then allow the leaves to scatter their way through the salad. Add your pasta to a large bowl and then in goes all of our chopped fillings. Artichoke hearts, salami ribbons, sun-dried tomatoes, chopped olives, and mozzarella cheese. Top with your gorgeously green dressing and toss your salad. Because the pasta is going to absorb that dressing, make sure you add in a little extra. One final toss and you're ready to enjoy. If you're looking for a warm pasta dish, why not try my stuffed shells? And if you loved this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos every week. I'll see you in the next one.